Gonna change gonna make the world for a great pod. With my hockey, hockey stick. Gonna make a real difference. With my snipe show. The poor and with, my snipe. Oh. with my snipe show. I was working on a rap song yesterday. No, you weren't. I was. Elaborate. I might drop a track. Just, you know, just a single. Not I a whole you album. Should. I think yeah. you should. It's something that I always thought, like, hey, why not? Like, I could rap if I really wanted to. Yeah, anyone can rap. I think so. So uh, did you write lyrics, or did you... No, that's... Style, that's or did once the work started, on? that's when... I, I remember <laughs> I threw a freestyle beat on with you, and I freestyled in the car. On the yes. Oh, yeah, we did We did yeah, plan on I that, went didn't crazy. we? crazy. I went crazy on the freestyle. No, I was, I was looking for a song for the, my latest YouTube video. Myself playing roller hockey for the very first time. Mm. Wish Cup, you were there. I was there. We were not line mates, though. No. Teammates, but we never got on the same line together. That's probably why I didn't score. <sighs> well, yeah, we, we drew up all our secret plays. Yeah, we've been trying. And then we didn't get to execute. Because... Who was the coach of this team? Oh, I know. Well, Chippy no... hops on the first line, but it, it turns out that the two guys on yeah. my line were like absolute roller hockey studs. Yeah. I'm like, yeah, I'll, I'll hang out with these guys. And uh, try to make something happen. Anyways, playing against Bobby Ryan and, and Philip Forsberg. That was tough. But anyways, I was looking for a song for the YouTube video. And I found this really cool beat. I'm like, dang, I could like, I could, do something. I could do something with this. With my zero experience in any sort of vocal or rap or rhythm. Besides thinking I'm an all-star on my way to college. <laughs> do you ever do that? Throw in a rap song and just think you're like a rap star? Just rap yeah, every word time. of like an Eminem song? I, I haven't done that. But you haven't? No, no. But I'm not as creative minded as you guys. You're not as hood as us. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I. Aiden's not as hood as us. I freestyle all the time. Mm-hmm. Like, I was freestyling yesterday. I was. Yeah. That's hey, how so you I... got into live streaming, isn't it? You were doing. Quite a little bit. Yeah. I'm, freestyle. About to, I'm about to go crazy on those lives. I mm-hmm. just got a whole live stream set up. So I just had the track in Premiere Pro and I threw it down. And then I was like, oh, mm, turn up the beat. Drop <laughs> oh, the bass. No. Drop the bass. Huh? <laughs> Just, oh, no. <laughs> just messing around, trying to freestyle. It's so hard to freestyle. No, it's if, not, bro. It, no. You're it, doing it right now. Fair. You're talking, bro. You, freestyle's talking. Hmm. Fair enough. So as so soon as you start thinking that you need to rhyme. Yeah, of course you need to rhyme. No, you don't. Right? You need to talk, and then the rhyme, it, it will just happen. Uh, so it's yeah. like when you try to Maybe rhyme. Maybe for you. It's like, no. Magic it, man. It's presency, bro. It's meditation. It's like when you try... To rhyme words, it's gonna you just you're trying to yeah. So it's like freestyle. You gotta let it go. It's like if you want to walk and then it's talk, speaking. but it's you like want to rhyme in a flow. all the time. Freestyle's about flowing. Did you guys hear that? I just did it. <laughs> Was there any entertainment no, people, at the? Uh, that's, that's annoys me. People think that freestyling is rhyming. It's like yeah. that's no, not no. what it is at all. That it is true. I I got this app called Suno, and you can just write anything into it. And it'll make you a song, and it doesn't even have to rhyme, and it still sounds good. No, you just gotta say things that make sense. Yeah. I'll make a song right now. <laughs> I, Chippy, you were at the draft, right? Yes, I was. Was there entertainment and there? And awards. Did you free, was there any freestyling there? Yeah, I was freestyling with Beller. Yeah. Well, actually, was. We walked We walked back from one of the... Zach Bell, for anyone who doesn't know who Beller... Beller and George. Nickname. Shout out to Beller and George. <laughs> yeah, they were out there. We were, uh, we were in Vegas. And then guess how hot it was. You guess how hot it was. In Vegas? 40. 100, 120 degrees. <laughs> We're going. I was going Canadian. You're not even far off. Metric, here. 110. Whoa, oh, spicy. It's supposed to be 115 this week in Vegas. Spicy. So we showed up and it was absolutely scorching hot. Vegas is hot in the summer. It's like a different level of hot. Vegas is an oven in the summer. Vegas is an oven in the summer. I remember going there and like there was a wall we had to walk by. And then also the concrete of the sidewalk and the radiation of that heat blasting us and then hitting the sidewalk and the wall. It was just, we were literally in an oven. It was, <laughs> Vegas is an oven. I, do you want me to tell you about the draft? I do, and, yeah. And I would love to People that hear. were at the hotel that I was staying at. And I, I would love All the NHL players that Go I Go through, play. what was the highlight of Vegas itself? What was the highlight of the draft event? Uh, I brought my dad with me. Oh, that's cool. That's so always fun. Pops and I went, uh, got there on the Wednesday. We, I, I decided to do the 6 a.m. flight. I was like, oh, we'll get to Vegas like early and have all day Wednesday. And the hotel was till Saturday. Mm-hmm. 
So I was like, oh, I'll get there early Wednesday. So we'll get up at have a 6 a.m. flight on Wednesday because we'll give us all day to, <laughs> you know, enjoy the day. We'll get there at 11. Yeah. Yeah, well, when it's a 6 a.m. flight, you got to be there at what time? At 3? Oh, that sucks. You got to wake up at like 2. Gotta le- I literally didn't go to bed. Yeah. 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 I had zero hours of sleep when I show up to Vegas. and That's not fun. Well, that's probably why you didn't get drafted. Yeah, that's probably why. All right, so I just made a rap song oh, with, with not in the middle of a story. It, it, I know, but what but is... listen, listen to this. You guys are insufferable. <laughs> what did you just do? Here's another one. You guess how hot. That's a that's a banger. It's absolutely scorching in the Vegas, Vegas summer. Oven, this oven, is what Jerry was talking about when he said he was making raps. Oh, he was literally no, just no. using AI. No, I just I wanted to use that example. Chippy said it doesn't have to rhyme, and it, like. I, I was just recording what Chippy was saying in the podcast <laughs> and just made a song out of it. And it actually me off a bit. I'm like, Jerry has to reform yeah, he's, he's like holding it in front of his <laughs> like, face yeah, for a minute and a half. <laughs> I'm just trying to stay focused. Yeah. Okay, so, sorry, my ADHD brain. No, I was what? actually... What site is that? Or what? It's called Suno. Suno. And I just make uh, songs for... The, and you can do any style, like you can do country music or pop or whatever. Right. Early... It's taking over TikTok. It's removing... I've seen all that stuff. It's yeah. It's removing... The creation process, isn't it? It's shortcutting it, really, because my kids can be having a balloon battle, like a, a game of keepy uppy of the balloon. Yeah. Oh, that's and, so fun. That and game. I can make an entire song in 30 seconds and then cast it to the Bluetooth speaker while they're playing keepy uppy. And it's literally a song about what they're doing in that exact moment. Can we just call it well, keep up? Not It's keepy uppy. I never. <laughs> it's keep up. <laughs> keepy uppy. It's called sewer. Yeah, 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 yeah. Anyways, so you know, it's it's wild, but it for sure is not great for the true genius creativity. Mm-hmm. But those types of people will, I think, use that type of technology to even elevate themselves even more, right? Or yeah. be able to create more. Yeah, yeah. You have yeah. to adopt it, else you're going to be left behind in the dust, yeah. like yeah. a dust in the wind. But anyway, back to Chip's story. Oh, we're yeah. Back. What were, you want another song? I don't even know where we were. <laughs> I don't know where we were. I was no, you were you were talking about Vegas was pro- hot. It was scorching hot. It was 115. It was Vegas oh, we, hot. It was an oven. We had we had gone on from there. I'm pretty sure. What, 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 you what? landed. You didn't have much sleep. And oh yeah, we, we landed. There was so we land on the Wednesday, 11 a.m. Get the Uber over to the hotel, the Encore, like the Win. Mm-hmm. If you guys ever great been, hotel. Yeah, it's unbelievable. Wonderful, you know, unbelievable. Wonderful. So we walk in, the, the pool is un, unreal. Mm-hmm. I got there pretty early, so I wasn't sure if the room would be ready, and it wasn't ready mm. at like what? It was like noon. Noon. Yeah. Um. So I'm like two o'clock probably. So I'm, ta- I'm talking to lady. Earliest. I'm talking to lady. Blah blah blah. She's like, I'll put you in the system, so like it'll beep when it's ready. And I'm like, oh, this could be like another four hours. So I'm like, literally so tired. I'm like, just pissed that there's no room. <laughs> not pissed, but like not happy about it. And then, boom! Right when she puts it in the system, we're about she's about to like say, "I'll call you back." Oh, looks like your room's ready. Huh. The room was ready. There you go. And uh, we got to the room, went up, and it was like this crazy room. I've never been in a hotel room like this. I saw it on your gram. It was Ooh, that's nice, insane. Like yeah. it was like I've never been in a room like that. Um, walk in, it's got like the 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 it overlooked Vegas, like all of Vegas, floor fifty three, and it uh. The little thing was like electronic. Uh, the curtains. Yeah. The curtains yeah, were yeah. electronic. So when he came in, and then there was a couch on the cor- in the corner, full on like nice sectional sectional couch, two beds, yeah. big walk in suite with the shower, walk in shower. A little upgrade from coffee maker TV, <laughs> two beds, window. There was a TV in the bathroom, oh. and then my. My dad didn't even know how to turn off the TV because it was it was playing that like like all like the the Vegas show. Yeah, welcome to Vegas. Right? Yeah, and then my dad's like, "Where's the controller? Where's the remote to turn the TV off?" I'm like, "I was like, Dad, it's probably the iPad." He's like, "No, there's gotta be a remote." So then he calls down, <laughs> he calls down on the front he desk. It. He's like, "Yeah, like there's no, we can't turn the TV off." 
<laughs> oh my god! It's like, oh, it's on the iPad. There's a there's uh, a power uh, button. Uh, I was like, yeah, I told you. The room comes with an iPad to control things. Yeah, <laughs> like all the lights. All the lights were on Alexa. Like, hey Alexa, to get the lights. Wow. Yeah, it was wild. My, my dad was doing future. it. I was like, Dad, never do that again. <laughs> he kept saying, Hey Alexa, he's not a, he's not one of these guys that does it. He's kept doing it, and I was like, Dad, like. Do not do that. Oh my again. gosh! A flashback of like ten years ago. You guys are triggering people that have Alexas in there. Yeah. Hey Alexa. Yeah. <laughs> Alexa. Hey Google. Hey Siri. What's the weather today? Bixby. <laughs> yeah. So the Bixby. room was insane, and then so we're tired. My dad's like, we gotta go get some sun. We're in Vegas, so we go down by the pool. We're chilling by the pool. Uh, it's so hot. Like I'm talking scorching hot. Oh, yeah. And um, we're sitting by the pool, and then you know, next thing you know. Brandon Shanahan walks straight by. Oh, yeah? Oh, Shanny. Shanny, Shanny so, walks by. So, Shanny, was he in his, like, swim trunks? He was in his little Leafs. He had his like little... Seven, he had, seven he inch had his scene. golf shirt with the Leaf oh, okay. logo on it. He wasn't, like, uh, had that uh, sunscreen all over, you know? No, zinc, no. Zinc no, clothes, no. Clothes, Shanny so. just walked right in front of us. We, yeah. like, I, I was like, is that Shanny? I was like, oh, Shanny. I'm not going to say anything here. I'm just going to let it play it cool. He was dressed to draft. Yeah, so that was like the Wednesday. So they must have been getting ready, doing like interviews or whatever. Oh, oh yeah. What's your snap st- score? What's your snap score? <laughs> can we put a camera in your room so we can track your every movement for the next five days? <laughs> Who do you think dropped the most because of that, eh? Oh, too, your snap know. score is too high. We're not going to take you onto our hockey team. That's insane. But yeah, Shanahan watched. Shanny knows what Snapchat is. So the whole, <laughs> like all the Leafs got, uh, everyone that worked at the Leafs was just there. Uh, big Dr- Darren Drager. Mm. Said what up to Drags? I don't think he knew who I was. What? He did not know. Does he not have a cell phone? <laughs> he didn't know. He does. He must. He must just write things. I was like, what up, Drags? He's kind of didn't didn't, yeah. didn't really uh, flow. It wasn't really uh, flowing. That's uh, okay. It's okay, Draggy. I get it. But you know what? I bet like tough stuff. Five minutes later, he <laughs> must have been like, oh my gosh, that was chippy. Now he's probably kicking himself. Like I can't believe. No, it's okay. Yeah. It's okay. I didn't expect them to know who I was, but yeah, I was like, what up, Drags? Um, who else was in there? Like Hughes, all the Hughes brothers were in that hotel. Nice. Pappy was in there. I didn't get to see him. Someone was like, yo, Pappy was just downstairs five minutes ago. I'm like, no way. What What are all the Hughes? You almost have to hang out in the lobby there if you want to, like, see everyone that's there. You just have to, like, sit there for hours. What are all the Hughes <laughs> brothers doing in Vegas for the awards? The awards. Yeah. Oh, yeah, because they all got one. Yeah. Except for Luke. Yeah, so... He almost won the defenseman. He should have won the. He's going against his own brother, Quinn. No. There should be a defenseman, like rookie defenseman of the year. Oh, rookie! Forward. Yeah, that's it why. Should have been a rookie forward and a defenseman. Like it shouldn't just. Be. How cool is that? Three brothers and they're all up for awards. Yeah, Quinn got the Insane. Norris. Was and... Luke up for the Calder, or what was he up for? Yeah, Luke must have been up for the Calder. I would yeah. think that's yeah, the only. Yeah, it was Calder. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But Bedard ended up getting it. Oh, but Jack, Jack wasn't in the running for anything, was he? He's just hanging out with his bros. He's there to support them yeah. and go to hit the strip after. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's so, but I'm willing to bet the hotel wasn't the highlight of the weekend in terms of, like, the Vegas experience. What what else was... Uh... Yeah, the award. Went to the awards. That was on a Thursday. Mm-hmm. Um, it was only an hour long. It was that at the Sphere, too? No, that was at uh, the, f- mm. the Fountain Bleu. Which was a nice, nice uh, hotel casino. The, s- um, the sphere looked awesome for the draft. The sphere was it... needs to be there every year That's for what I'm the draft. Saying. The are graphics. They, are, didn't and they stuff? say they were taking the draft away? They are gonna. They're saying they're gonna decentralize it so it doesn't happen in a certain area. People just do it from wherever they are. No, no, it's still like people come to watch it. It's for the fans, and the the main top draft picks will come to the location to be drafted or whatever but not everyone has to be there from the media and the the uh teams Mm. you know like so the gm and everything they can do it from their own offices they don't have to go to vegas and it's because it becomes more for the fans versus for all of the media that are there so they're still going to make an event of it each year yes but well that was like this year like not all the media was there oh was this a decentralized one yeah i think it was the first one Okay, because oh. that's what I thought. I thought that they were yeah. going to decentralize this year. It's like, oh, this one seems better than any of them. It was the yeah. best. Huh. Yeah, because it's for the fans. You know, like they show like the, the, the big screens, all the the build up for every pick. It's just for the fans, you know. Mm. And the executives, they're not down on the draft floor, like making phone calls and stuff. They're in their offices. No, they were there. Uh, I know. Yeah, they're, all of them were there. Probably still from habit, like. You want to be yeah. Oh, they're all at the yeah. table. It was the same thing. Making phone calls. and Yeah, but it's probably not as much people. Because from it what I... Bro, it was the same. <laughs> I was there. Oh, okay. 
it maybe, was maybe they're all, all the tables, all the GMs, all the like they were all tables were surrounded by the guys, and then they would go up to the tables and right. all the guys would go introduce themselves to the owners and stuff. Yeah, maybe media. I don't know. You couldn't get as much stuff in the sphere though. The security at the sphere was apparently like crazy. I just from my understanding is that the previous drafts they had the GM the and the entire draft like the enti- sorry the entire scouting staff the team social media people like they all were basically filling up the entire place <laughs> with just the team right. people and their the fans were just like kind of there wondering what's going on <laughs> yeah <laughs> until there's a draft being made and you're just waiting around whereas now they're trying to make it more like a spectacle so i'm just checking in an article right here from October 2023, the NHL voted and near unanimously agreed to decentralize their draft day. Yeah. So what does that mean? Can you? What is? I will mean? expand. Let me do some research. But yeah. you and Hayden keep <laughs> keep the airwaves going. We don't want three minutes of me silently reading <laughs> on the pod. You but can't read out loud. <laughs> I I can, but it might be boring. I was mm. hoping to pick out like two sentences from an entire article. We've already explained what the decentralized is. Though. We will be off the topic by the time you're done reading. That so. might be it. <laughs> we'll wait. I'll we'll just sit here and wait. No, the to my understanding, the decentralizedness of the draft is literally just that not everyone from each team staff has to be there, and there's not as much media that go there to talk to all those people or whatever. Like it used to be, just like an event for the media and all the team staff to get juicy insights for social and stuff, and it was no point in being there as a fan, like in the flesh. But now it's like you go there and it's actually okay. organized and structured. I, I just Googled further to find a single sentence explaining it. Okay, yeah. And, and what did you find? I think it's pretty much what Hayden's saying. The league circulated a memo Wednesday asking for feedback on a possible decentralized draft similar to how the NFL and NBA conduct theirs. So, yeah. And like they, they're still exciting. Mm-hmm. Right? I, I think. I don't know. Yeah, they like to hype it up. Like all the picks, like they make a big deal of it and show their families in their living room if they're not there or they... They make it actually. So it says team personnel remaining in their home markets while the prospects gather in one centralized draft location. Yes. Yeah, which was not the case this year. Yeah, but what do, you, what do you mean? Well, you no, you can't. Like you still all the GMs all, and the, all, all the, the big owners boys. were there. Yeah, right. Like the top five big guys are there. Yeah, but, but not, not the entire staff. Like yeah. because what what happens on draft day is there's the draft, but then also it's free agency. So what it takes away from the draft of the actual new players. And all of the staff are there, and they need to go back and forth and talk and do all this stuff to ex- execute trades or s- contract signings and stuff. So what they do is they leave, like, th- three-quarters of their staff in Toronto, for example, for the Leafs. Yeah. Well, I'm just like, I'm never like, – all I'm saying is I never recognized any yeah. of those people at the other events either. Like, yeah. I've never like, been right. like – you only look at the table, the draft table. Yeah, like yeah. The, the same same people are going to be there every year, anyways. So I guess right. like we don't even know if they were there or not. What was your biggest surprise of the draft? Um, biggest surprise? How long it was? <laughs> how long it was? I guess would be my biggest surprise. I I'd yeah. say it was like five hours to get through one round. Yeah, it did seem a lot longer. Because I saw it started, and I was like, oh, Leafs have the 28th pick. It wasn't, I couldn't even Nothing get... would be as long as when they did it digitally during I COVID. couldn't even <laughs> get to the to the, to the the 28th pick, bro. I know. It was just three and a half hours. Dude. I'm like, yo, I'm starving right now. Dude, what if they picked you? <laughs> well, that I was going to say that was my biggest surprise, that you didn't get taken in the top 10. Well, that's just... And continued to get passed that. by. Everyone there must that. have been, like, I would put in a complaint to the league or something, because I think they must have not um, put your info into the... Yeah, you weren't being even considered for some reason. I think they said that I'm like, they, they what a lot of people were saying was like they didn't want to pick me because the jerseys weren't big enough. So ah. they would have to get like custom jerseys because my arms are so big. Yeah. So they were like, damn, like, yeah. what are we gonna? Take, do? We can't take this guy. Like, I don't want to go and get a jersey resize. So let's just take a different That's, guy. Mm. And I think everyone just had that same problem. They're like, probably implementing some sort of rule where you have to get shared. Like you can play a few games with each team, so that's fair for every team for the whole league. Because yeah. if you were just on one team the whole season, it's not really it like, like a multiple. Like they said, "Oh, he's too hydrated." So yeah, you're in a league of your own. So. Yeah, that's why I couldn't believe it either. But mm. there's a lot, a lot of scouts that are. Still I know. I, I saw on TV that every time, so like when San Jose went up for their first overall pick. 
I saw in the background, you stood up, just, you know, you're like, yeah, I was there. We were proud to announce first overall, and I see Chippy standing up, right? And you're ready, like, you're already shaking your dad's hand. Yeah. I was and then they said there. Macklin Celebrini, and you're just like, just absolutely stunned. <laughs> I was sat, stunned. Sat back down. <laughs> stunned. And like you're, you're sk- squinting and kind of looking at the board, like, uh, is that? Pretend to tie your shoe. That like, oh, I was just stretching. Yeah, okay. Just stretching. Okay. Yeah. Must fake, have been a mistake. Clap. <laughs> Must have been a mistake, Dad. And then second overall, proud to select. And, you know, <laughs> and then, no. And then you had to sit back down again. It was crazy. Man, Gosh. it was tough stuff. Yeah. What was the buzz like in the building, like, after they got through the first five picks? There's a lot of boos because everyone's, <laughs> really? just, everyone's just booing everybody. <laughs> Unless it's, like, the Vegas. Right. Like, I, everyone just boos everybody. Like, that's hilarious. Go up, boo. <laughs> Batman goes up, boo. That's great. Oh, the Batman boos would be yeah, the, big, the yeah. first, Like, no one's happy that San Jose gets first pick. Like, no. uh, everyone's, like boo. everyone's just like, it was right. a lot of booing. I, I'd say <laughs> that's funny. Beckett Seneca going third. That was crazy. He, they cut to a, a shot of him <laughs> I w- basically yeah. saying, like, holy F. To his, <laughs> I know. I, like, he couldn't believe it. <laughs> God, take that. Was he, like, not supposed to go? Like, he probably, ha- yeah, he was supposed to, he was scouted at, like, f- between 15th to 20th. Mm. Like the bottom of the first, he's first round, but third overall is like a marquee spot. One, two, and three. Why wouldn't they just yeah. trade down if they were like? That's a great pick. Yeah, that's a great idea. I mean, sorry, like yeah, tr- trade their third spot for like a fifteenth spot, get something, and then just pick them fifteenth. Yeah, why grab them? But I guess they just really wanted him. He must have had a really low snap score. <laughs> <laughs> they drafted it in reverse yeah. snap score. Yeah, that was. <laughs> I, I was so busy creating my video and pretending like I was not getting drafted. Yeah, you know, yeah. Like, I saw... You know what was going on. I saw it. So it, it cut to you after the top 10 had already been taken. Mm-hmm. And I saw you just staring at San Jose's table. Yeah, I did. I did. You were just like one of these looks like... <laughs> To San Jose. Well, they had a second pick. I, I was like, there's yeah. no way they're going to... Shane Wright's got no nothing they're on gonna, you. There's no way they're going to get, like, pass up on me twice. Yeah. Like, there's no way. And then, like, I know you were probably looking forward to, like, walking up to the, dra- to the draft floor and staring them down. And, I was. But, and then once it got to the second round, I saw the, the TV cut to you again, and you were just going to the bathroom. So it kind of looked like, and you were staring them down as you were going to the there's bathroom. There's a lot of, like, yeah. a lot of stare downs, a lot of... So. Eye, evil eye contact. Lots, lots of uh, chatter on Twitter about the rivalry between uh, San, San Jose. Must have been passing over twice in the first round, and Coach Chippy. There's like, what was the sphere crazy. actually like? Like the what did they have on the screens? Because it's a 360 view, right? Or it like was, pretty close to it. You can't see directly was, below you. Art, like the the digital art was crazy yeah. that they had in there. Like right. it's just like the perfect venue. It looked amazing. I got to wonder how much it costs because it must be insane. There's a team that just only creates assets for the sphere. That, yeah, like it, like, Mm -hmm. I mean, it was insane just like how cool it looked. Like, I couldn't, like, the amount of screens, I I don't get it (laughs) how they even do it. Like, like one of the, actually, one of the screens went out. Uh oh. It was like a little small, little, yeah. uh, Must have been a massive screen. Like, it's so far away. Like, how big are those screens? Right. Did they do one where they show you like the horizon to make it seem like you're not in a sphere? Oh, that's neat. No, no, they. Didn't. I thought it'd be like the default is like they just show you outside. So it looks like you're yeah, looking at yeah. a parking lot. Yeah. Or the, no, no, like a like the the city line of Vegas yeah, or something. That would have been cool. No, they just had the teams. They had like it was just a really yeah it was right. it was cool. I wish they did a little bit more like yeah like some stars or like something. like if they did an intermission, I'd think they'd just show like outside or something. How funny yeah. if they just have cameras outside and then they just broadcast them inside. Yeah. So <laughs> if like, someone's going out and like scratching their butt, it's just like <laughs> it's like you're looking right at in front of the lot. camera. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, no, the sphere was. I I would love to go to a concert there. Like it would just be the perfect. Oh, yeah. You, you it, two not, was there for a while. Everything should just be there. That's how great the sphere was. When I was in Vegas, I wanted to go, and it was like 150 bucks to see a show, and I was like, yeah, I don't want. I really want to go, but not that bad. Mm. 150 is not even expensive. Yeah, yeah but you you got concert. to go for free. No, not for a concert. It was to see some like movie or something. Oh, oh. that's a little different. Yeah, <laughs> concert. Yeah. Right. Okay. No, it's just to say that's pretty cheap for a I, concert. I just wanted to go inside of it and see the thing work. You know, so yeah, it was. You got to go for free to see oh, the draft. Yeah. That's, oh yeah. I'm gonna try to do that next time. It was unreal. Uh, unfortunately, I couldn't because I was. They uh, should do every draft there. Is what I'm saying. Yes, they really should. They should. Yeah, it, I think it's, it's a good cool. experience for the fans. And it's Vegas, baby. It's, it's, it's 
I didn't even watch the draft that. though. What did it look like on TV, Jared? Did you watch some? I of just it? watched some highlights of it. Right. What did it I look like? It. Like from the TV perspective, because it's looks looks epic. Looks like a cool venue. Mm. Like yeah, it's just slow as heck. That's why I just watched the highlights. Yeah, yeah. Like I'm just oh, yeah. I was there for three hours. Yeah. <laughs> and that's what I'm saying. I just want to see. Okay, I know Macklin's going first. The Beckett Seneca thing was pretty cool. Utah, great snag with uh, Tij McGill. Tij again. Tj. T- is it Tj? Tj. Tj. Tj Aginla. Yeah. Yeah, he's nasty. Tj Aginla. I think he like proved himself in his last like few months of play. Yeah. This playoff performance and like. Yeah, he's a the, very versatile. Seems like he's good defensively, offensively. Yeah, plays big. And he's going to be a, a force to reckon with. And Utah made some big signings too, didn't they? They I think just gonna signed. Go um, yeah, they signed a couple guys. I'm gonna. Do you want? Do we want to go through like some of the the highlights of like signings, trades, all that stuff that happened over the past? Might, might as well. Too. Might as well do that. On there's a probably podcast. more coming out today because we're recording this on day yeah, all two the of free boys, agency. All the big boys got scooped up July first. Well, for like free agents, yeah, but there still could be a lot of trades. There could happen. be some moves, yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Unfortunately, I couldn't go to the draft because I was on the ice with a a handful of NHL players. I can't reveal much about it mm. because I know it's top are. secret. Shh. <laughs> maybe, maybe EA invite me next time. <laughs> maybe I'll maybe I'll keep it a secret. <laughs> no, no. They asked me if you could go, and I said no. You're going to the draft, and you're not interested. And don't ever contact. Yeah, <laughs> and I said please don't ever contact. <laughs> yeah, no. It's again the pros. I, the pros get intimidated when I'm around, so that's probably why. Oh uh, yeah, they don't want too much pressure. Well, last know? year, it. it Darlene had to light him up in a in a game of a uh, horse. There. Yeah, I, I can't believe. I'm it. actually gonna release that this year because I, I haven't released it yet. Yeah. <laughs> and and it's passed, so the secrecy laws are over. But it's crazy how you had to take it easy on him. Like I think that's I probably what let him into the game, give him a chance. No. Yeah. So I think he probably complained. Like, why did you bring this guy? He's showing me up <laughs> and recording it. Like I'm in the NHL. Like you can't treat me. So they probably didn't, didn't give you the invite back because you're t- you you had to take it easy on these guys and they know it. It's like, well, yeah. we can't have that happen two years in a row. No yeah. chance. It's going to make the NHL look bad. Yeah. 100%. <laughs> yeah. yeah. All right. This episode is brought to you by Muskoka Brewery. Oh, one of my favorite. No, my favorite. My favorite craft brewer, Muskoka Brewery. You can get this delicious uh, beer made in Muskoka pretty much everywhere. Is it LCBO? Beer store? In grocery, grocery store, yeah. And what beer are we talking about here, Jerry? Well, they got the Tread Lightly, which is their light beer. It's like a light lager. Mm-hmm. And they have dropped the price. It used to be a premium mm. case, and now it is uh, pretty comparable in price to all the other guys that you normally buy. Definitely recommend picking up that Tread Lightly. Uh, great tasting local craft beer. And they actually just came out with uh, some another option, the Veer. Mm. Which is a non-alcoholic beer. I like. I love this actually. I'm excited to try that because I don't always. You know, I'm trying to cut back on the alcohol a little bit. Yeah, yeah. So they have an, a hazy IPA beer. I see here in the show notes something about 78 percent of people that drink alcohol also drink non-alcoholic drinks it, as a promotion of healthy life lifestyle. It's That's where I'm at over here. The yeah. non-alcoholic drinks. Hey, take a couple days off and, and grab the non-alcoholic version. Jeez. Right? Maybe that's the, your All week. ingredients made in Muskoka? Yeah, all natural, dude. Jeez. So a uh, huge thanks to Muskoka Brewery for sponsoring the pod and grab yourself some Tread Lightly or some non-alcoholic beer. The beer. Available at LCBO Beer Store. Let's get back to the pod. So I just have an article from The Athletic up here. It's from a bunch of the writers. And they're yeah. just giving grades to, like, some of the bigger moves that happen. Or oh, okay, so we'll give them the real grade. Yeah, yeah. we'll give them the real, real grade. grade. Um, so they started off with uh, the Florida Don't tell deals. us their grade. Okay, I won't. Yeah, maybe you can see what they say. It's on, a like, a school rating. So, like, from A's to B's to okay. C's, D's. Uh-huh. But, uh-huh. Um, so in Florida, they signed Sam Reinhart mm-hmm. to an eight-year deal with uh, AAV of $8.6 million. Which is... After winning the Cup. That's a pretty good deal for Reinhardt. And also 47 goals. Yeah. But it was definitely a contract year. Like he's... Oh, for sure, yeah. He's hitting about 40 to 60 points every season, and then all of a sudden he gets... He gets that in goals. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it's, it's a little bit crazy. It was definitely a breakthrough in terms of like his goal scoring ability. Yeah. What do you guys give it in terms of a grade for the contract? Mm. I, I'll tell you in three years. 
It's well, that's the thing. Things. You got to give it now, though. You I, don't. You won't know I until mean, you don't know right now. You, like w- right eight, now. Eight point seven. Yeah. Well, it, if you round up, it's eight point well, six. Like as two, the, five. like if yeah. he if he does what he's did this year, that's a great contract. But yeah, yeah. That's what I'm saying. I'd say it's. I'd give it an A. Right. I'll, I'll you know, I'm not. It's not an A plus. I'll but give it a B plus. A B plus. Sorry. Oh, they gave it an A plus. Ah, right. Because they're saying Ryan. He's a great fit is and a, a good contract. Well, that's the thing. If he's a good, good player, good fit, I'm saying A. Right. And you know they can work on that. Salary cap's going to be going up over the years. He's not their premier guy. Mm-hmm. Is he going to be? I don't. I don't think he's going to take over like Barkov's yeah. spot. I guess it's like who who. Who are we looking at? Comparables to an $8 million contract. Are we talking about from the organization or from Reinhardt's perspective? I'd say for the value to the team. Value to the mm-hmm. team. That's usually what these articles are grading it based on. Is Whoa, like, what do they specify? <laughs> well, that's the thing from, from Reinhardt's perspective. What happens if he becomes like the next, next pastor knack? That's what I'm saying. He's only making and 8 million. These guys million. are all making 11.5. Yeah. Like it's like their day job. Mm-hmm. <laughs> all right. And then uh, Tampa Bay. Yeah. Big boy Steven Stamkos. Gone. Is going to the Predators, so they lost him. Didn't mm-hmm. sign him. Mm-hmm. Um, but they signed Jake Gensel. Yeah. So he's signed for a seven-year deal with $9 million AAV. Mm. Seven times nine? Yeah. For who? Gens? Gensel. Gensel. Ah, in, the, in Tampa. I don't know what his stats are like, but... I think Tampa... He did pretty good in off, Carolina. I, I think they disrespected Steven Stanford. Oh, for sure they did. Yeah. I mean, yeah. just like, oh, it's an organization decision. Like, there's like no, there was no like, oh, he's been it, here It for didn't even seem like they years. tried like, to sign. It seemed even, like they didn't even no, care. It's just like, they seemed like they, it was just like, oh, it's a, it's just a decision. Like, yeah. they, they, like, like his 15 plus years there didn't matter. Yeah. But what did he go inside Like, what happened for? to like being a human being? Well, we'll get to Nashville's because they, they made some big moves, but we'll get to them after. I think it's kind later. of important for the, this discussion though. Stamkos, they just let him walk for what eight million? No, they offered him like three million, eight times eight. Oh, that was like apparently like the, that was yeah. Like but the, he got four years in Nashville for, yeah, for eight, eight million. Yeah, I know that. Okay, I'm saying so. The, he, Tampa eight times four, him like eight times three. Yeah, eight times three, and he got eight times four. Yeah. But like that, well, when, was, when you're 35 years old or 34 years old, yeah, the term yeah. makes you don't. Like, I know. Yeah. But that's guaranteed eight million dollars more. He, yes, for Stammer. I'm I'm saying from Tampa's perspective. Oh, they should just have just given him the eight four. Just gave him another year, especially when but, he's like a franchise player. Like you're, yeah. but just, then, but and then eight, just eight four would be tough because the, from business the, the salary, right? It's yeah. like the AAV is yeah. what matters, right? Well, then you just LTIR him for the last season. <laughs> yeah, he did get forty. That's cups. called cap sur- he did circumvention. Get forty rips last year. Like, let's not forget. That, hey, that's I what, know. That's like the. I know. Everyone's acting like he's he bangs. Bucks he's like nets. old and doesn't no. produce now. And but like he's literally scoring in the top like what five percent of the league, ten percent of the league. Yeah, he's a goal scorer. How old yeah. is he? I mean, I'm surprised. Thirty four, I think. He's you, the same age as John Tavares. You think he's trying to win a cup with Nashville? Well, they obviously are. Well, obviously, yeah. they are. Well, Archie, so. And, oh my gosh, it's crazy! Eh? That was a, such a deal. Anyways, okay, sorry. Let's uh, keep going. So Jake rating. Gensel, <laughs> Gensel. Lightning, give it a rating. Oh, a grade. Nine mil for seven years. That was uh, the max term he could have got. B plus. B. I'm just not entirely sold on Gensel. Mm. Like for nine mil, like he might not be. I don't know what it, what I saw for. He's like, a great player. Just, everyone everyone thinks of him as like, oh, he's he's like only good because Crosby was on his like his center. Yeah. But then he goes to Carolina and he's one of the best players on the team in terms of like what he produced in the playoffs. No, he's got to be good because Crosby wouldn't play with him unless he was. Nasty. No, no, he's, exactly. Like, yeah, he's great, but nine million that means he's. Yeah, nine mil. He's I just, just he's got to be the like second best guy year? on the team. Like just, I don't know. I don't, if I don't I'm, know his stats. I'm looking at this. I would take Jake Gensel for seven years at nine mil in Toronto. You know, like for me, it's an A. Yeah, because everyone in Toronto is overpaid by two million. So, but so then, how can you look at it in Tampa and be like it's not good because they they used to have better contracts? <laughs> you know, like yeah, that's yeah, yeah. that's really that's really a, a seven times eleven for Tampa. Because <laughs> of the taxes, yeah, right, right. I don't, I don't know if that's okay. So yeah. Gensel nine million. I'll, I'll give it a. You guys are giving it like a B, B plus type thing. And and who's going to be their main guy? Their main guy is going to be Brain Point now. Kucherov. Kucherov. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, that's decent. Okay. Yeah. Nine. No, I'll give him an A. I'll give him an A. Yeah, like if we're putting Gensel in 
not considering that they let Stamkos walk, then I'm giving it an A. Yeah. But he, if, if you're thinking about like their overall thing, I'm like, I think they're not doing as good as they could have been. I thought they were rebuilding. Like we're not giving a, re, a grade for the entire franchise. We're just giving yeah, the just deal, that, that, that one deal, contract. I give an A. He, he's a, he's a worker. Is he better than Stamkos? That's a good point, eh? They not right now, but maybe in like two years they're thinking, yeah, he's probably gonna be. I'd say all. I oh, know Stammer is really good. Yeah, because they're they could have paid eight for Stammer, but yeah. they're paying nine for him. True. Yeah, they're term. they're paying him more for longer than they would have for Stamkos. Give him a fourth year and. Yeah, but I think maybe he brings like different pieces to the table. Yeah, he's a bit more of a workhorse. All right. Yeah, he's younger for sure. Um, so let's give the grade to Stamkos in Nashville. Oh, I mean, if come from Stamkos, four years at eight from million. Stamkos is side, it's an A plus. A plus, A plus, yeah. <laughs> Stamkos. I mean, Nashville. Obviously, that's the guy they wanted. They were like Trotzy went out there and he's a good fit. Was for like I want Nashville, Stamkos because yeah. he knows he's veteran and he's won cups and he scores forty. If if I was Chicago, I would have been grabbing Stammer to put him with Bedard because you get like. Stamkos is up there as far as leadership and, like, the type of player you want on your team. Like, Crosby, Tavares. You know, he's got that goal scoring, that that thing that you want on your team, the right? pillars of a good right. team, yeah. So, so bring Stammer in as a leader for four years for Bedard. Mm. Put Bedard under his wing. I mean, but I guess Stammer wants to win a cup, right? Man, so he's like, nah, Bedard. Yeah, Stamkos is like, I'm not, I'm not leaving. Bedard wants here. to be the captain, you know what I mean? Oh, true, yeah. Oh, that's a good point. Too. It'd be it's yeah. it'd be like bringing Tavares into Toronto and not giving it to the captaincy to Matthews yeah. right away. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a really good point. So they're just trying to build a young squad over there and br- and bring in Pat Maroon as the <laughs> he can he can mentor. He's like, shut up, Pat. Patty, I know what no, I'm doing. Patty Maroon, we love Patty. Uh, so they in the Athletic gave Stamkos's um, contract. Yeah. A B minus. A B minus. But the fit for Nashville is oh, an A. Oh, I see. I didn't yeah. know there's two different ratings. That's interesting. Yeah. Um, so it's funny, Bedard, given uh, who was on on the line with Bedard, he's saying he's slow. Oh. Felino. Felino, yeah. Nick, Nick Felino, yeah. Uh, just wait until he's paired up with Pat Maroon. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Pat, I put the the puck there, and you just weren't there. Uh, so sorry, Bedard. I was back at the far, at the far blue. Yeah, you're just a little slow. <laughs> No, it's yeah, slow. No, it'll yeah. be it'll be maroon. It's like so when you get when you get to the blue line, just do like a nice little button hook, and I'll be right there. <laughs> and Bedard's like, well, yeah, but you're just too slow. Like I, uh, I don't, I don't want to wait for you. You weren't there. Yeah, Pat, Pat, <laughs> Pat, I already put the puck in the net. Yeah, <laughs> puck's already in the net by the time you get into the zone, Pat. When I yeah. button hook, you're still <laughs> at our blue. <laughs> All right. Are, are you calling me slow? Actually, yeah, yeah, I am. Like, <laughs> yeah. For Felino, he's like, no, I'm not saying you're slow. I say you were going slow. Oh, we 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 didn't talk about the awards with the guy roasting all the players. Oh, oh yes, that was savage. Oh my God, sorry. We have to take a quick aside. Yeah, to talk. That was wait savage. Was bro. he funny? Because uh, dude, we were laughing. All of okay. us, all of us up okay. top, were dying laughing from the TV. Ever, everyone, okay, everyone saying this guy wasn't funny. He was hilarious, bro. Okay. Everyone in the up upper. Spot was dying laughing. I think it's one of those things you have to be there type of thing. Oh, you had to have yeah. been there because he because they weren't giving him anything and he would just kept going at it and okay. he's like, oh, you're not giving me much here, eh? Coach? Yeah, yeah. And, okay. And, and then everyone's laughing like it was. So and then he kept he the kept players pointing. look stonewalled like That's just what, angry. What are we doing, yeah. dude? dude <laughs> from doing? Instagram, they would just find like the worst bit and then start it and end it completely dry. So if you're not there... Well, you couldn't hear. We were so far back that you couldn't hear all the laughter. Oh, but, like, yeah, dude, he's there with, like, this weird beard. That was and, over. The, that was and, crazy. And doing some Russian accent. That was crazy. And Kucherov <laughs> is just, like... It was like Borat yeah, or something. It, yeah, it sounded like Borat. And, and Kuch is just like, why is this person talking to me? Right? And <laughs> he looked like, like he was about to slap him or he's something. He's doing, like, a bad <laughs> Russian accent. And then Kuch answers in perfect English. Right? And he's expecting him to, to have that, that thick, like, Russian accent when he interviews him. And Kucherov's just like, yeah, I played pretty good. Yeah, I, I'm just trying to win a Stanley Cup. We're, we're just trying to win a Stanley Cup. He's, like, perfectly pronouncing it. Yeah. <laughs> he's like, he put on his, his English accent. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> bro. Oh, it looked painful, man. It was, oh, it was funny, bro. Okay, that's yeah, good. I, I, we, I was, like, when he put that, when he brought Bobrovsky up and he had that... I don't even know, bro. He was jokes. Yeah, like, all the players didn't find it funny. 
Because it's, like, it's at their expense. You but know? it's like, yeah. laugh, bro. You're making a $12 million a season. Just, just, like, you're contracted to be there. Yeah. You know what I mean? Laugh. If I, if I was making 12 mil a season and I was in Vegas for the weekend. Pl- players take if the season's seriously. over, it's the yeah. summer. Yeah. Like, just laugh. I'd be. I, you wouldn't be able to wipe the smile off my face. you got to bring him into, like, rookie camp. Like, all of them like were, like, so serious, man. I don't like when Hayden does that. Now, now we're going like this, yeah, eh? Like, <laughs> Hayden, pod, like keeps turning the... the because you look at when when they're watching from the video, it's like you're looking off to the side at someone else. Hey, here's a hot take. Put the monitor right under the yeah, camera. Yeah, there's a hot take. <laughs> I would if there was a way to do it. Mounting um, arms. Yeah, that was this guy was so funny, bro. Uh, Matt Friend. What was his name? Matt Friend. Matt Friend. He's an impressionist. I've friend seen him. Matt. <laughs> I've seen him on I'm like, TikTok. I don't know if I want to do it now. <laughs> if I was hosting the awards, like. <laughs> You like he was perfect because he just didn't care. Yeah, oh, yeah. you have to just, not care. You have to. Continue. You have to have pretty. Uh, just say, oh, we're getting a lot out of you. The show must <laughs> like, go on. Like, he just kept like it was funny because like yeah they were stone. It's like oh, I was like almost did they like is that their bit like were they acting the players like acting because no they just don't think he's funny like, like how though like no like, okay. one was like making fun of me like that like I'd laugh first of all I wouldn't sit there like. Yeah, like Stonewall. Like but first of all, like yeah, I would, give him, I would give him something. I'd be like, you yeah. saw Kucherov at the All Star game. Yeah, he was making fun of him for that. Yeah, so like having more fun than does... Kucherov at the All Star game. <laughs> yeah. So <laughs> it was jokes. Kuch obviously doesn't seem like a happy go lucky type of guy. He's a little more like serious by looks. He was he wasn't having fun at the All Star game. <laughs> Right, <laughs> so you, you got to pick your audience, right? You got to play to your audience. And Bedard, like, <laughs> you've seen him in interviews and stuff. Well, that's that's like that's why he did it. He's go. That's what I'm saying. He's going after the like. He should have gone for Seth Jarvis. He should have gone for past. No, because it's funnier to go after the guys that don't give you a react. Because that's this whole thing was to make fun of them. It is, yeah. but I think it was perfect. I would warm up. Those clips went viral. They, but <laughs> at, at his expense. Yeah, but I've, like I mean, as a comedian, if he's if you're being a comedian, it's good though. Yeah, you know, like if people think like, like if they're they're on the side of the player and yeah. they're like, oh, this comedian is like bullying them or whatever. Well, you know? So that's the thing that it, it's it works both ways. It's funny for so, a lot of people and it's not funny for the others. So either way, it's good. I would have yeah. started with say Seth Jar- Seth Jarvis, Brent Burns. Um, they probably were they there? I don't know. Yeah, no, they not. weren't there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Pasternak might have been there. No, he I, wasn't. Okay, so anyways, I'd look into my audience. Which of these guys likes to laugh, has a good time? I'd start there. Get the players on your side. Your list is pretty short. <laughs> it's almost like once the first guy didn't laugh, it's like all of them felt like they could exactly. Laugh. That's what I'm saying. If if you start with the guy, like it was, it's, it start with absolute... McKinnon. I think it started with McKinnon. Just like <laughs> McKinnon, <laughs> right? If you start with the with someone. Who's not funny? He's like, oh, this is how players are gonna act. You're setting the the anchor. Right. You're anchoring but, it there. But no, yeah. but he did it. He started already. Like at the very beginning, he talked about how like no one looks like they're having fun. Like it's like. Oh yeah. Okay. So he instantly got the players not on his side. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Well, at least n- none of them stood up and slapped him in the face. And the, and the, Will, and Will Smith. And, the, and then another, and then another guy, then another guy came hey, up. Hey, was Will Smith there? <laughs> get your, get my wife no, another, another, out another, of your mouth. Another, oh, another it, guy came up and, and was on stage, and it was, he says like, "It just looks like these hockey players never have fun." <laughs> <laughs> he came up. It was just, it was so funny, bro. I was like that. That could have been a great bit, maybe next year, because there is a hockey player that was drafted last year named Will Smith. They just needed to mic the audience to more. To get him to come up and slap him. Hey, yeah, like like if, the if second he, time Will yeah. Smith. We were laughing up top. Good, if you see that clip, but you hear a bunch of people laughing, then all of a sudden it's actually funny. Yeah, yeah everyone's like, oh, he bombed. I'm like, nah, you guys weren't there. Like, he yeah. did not bomb. That's how social media is making it. He was him hilarious. Laugh. Yeah. Like, he was a funny host. Yeah. yeah but they were savage, bro. I couldn't believe the jokes they were making like i was like this is <laughs> to their face is crazy like i would the love accent with the beard to the face is Kay. crazy i want to hear from the player side maybe there's an article coming out in the athletic or uh, elliot friedman third two thoughts they're gonna be like oh i want to know what the players here, thought you're bringing us here yeah. and uh, to get made fun of i want to know what the players feedback but then i'm like guys you're making how much a year to like you're contracted to go to this event like yeah you, you know yeah don't complain. What does Kucherov do for fun, I wonder? Win the cup. Drink vodka. <laughs> Win cup, drink vodka. 
that's, no, it's that's stereotyping. When the Stanley Cup and <laughs> that's a stereotype, vodka. Jared. I don't. Trust I'm so to do sorry. That in 2024. Only if it's accurate. All right, moving on through the Atlantic Division. Moving on through the Atlantic Division. Um, Jeremy, the least rivals, the Bruins. Is Putin coming after me now? They signed Elias Lindholm. Who did? The Bruins. Boston. Boston oh. did. Who's Le- Elias or Elias was he Lindholm? A forward? Yeah, I think he is. Yeah, he's a center. Zatarov. And Nikita Zadorov. Ooh, big Z. Ooh, he doesn't want to be pronounced called that, though. It's doesn't pronounced want to Zadorov. Be that. I got to you first on that, Hayden. Yeah, I got did. to you first on that. What is he going to be? Middle Z? Or yeah, he medium want, he Z? He didn't want to disrespect <laughs> Zadano in Boston. Didn't want to be called big Z. Yeah. Middle Z, General, lowercase Z. Oh, <laughs> was it? Didn't they say like General Zod or something he wanted to be called? Which is kind of. Seems a little excessive, but that's... I did not hear. Uh, that. Anyway, Lynn Holmes' deal is seven years with seven point seven five million AAV, mm. um, and then Zadorov is six years at five million. And mm. like, both of those guys are like Lynn Holmes Arguably, was probably what the best center free agent. I think, yeah. Like he was the he was. Why have I never seen him play? And I don't know even what he looks he, like. He used to be with Calgary. Yeah, he was with Calgary, yeah. and then that's probably why I would. I never. Is it Vancouver? Like... Who is he with last? Oh, yeah, someone picked him up. Vancouver. Yeah. No Vancouver. Um. Anyway, what do you guys think about that? Do, are you like devastated that they got those guys and the Leafs have to play them, or is it like meh? I mean, their defense core is looking pretty nasty. Yeah, right and now. and then they got. Uh, I thought pack. they were going to be in rebuild. I thought it was nah. like. Linus Allmark, they shipped out, but they still got Swayman, who's ridiculous. Yeah. Yeah, they're going to be tough to play against. But we all know what happens with goalies. Like, you think they're nasty, and then and they're just not. Goalies are the streakiest players. That's what like, I'm saying. But like, if they have a great team in front of you. Yeah. Like the Florida Panthers did, you know? Mm-hmm. Bob- Bobrovsky wasn't exactly, like, on the pinnacle of his career, and then he just revived it by being – I, well, obviously he's good, but he's playing on a good team, and they gave him a chance, you know. Yeah, Bob. How about Bobby? Bobby not, Rosky. Bobby not winning the goalie of the year award, and he didn't like. Are you serious? Yeah. Wait, who got the goalie? You gotta have some bias if you win the cup. Like it should have just been like. Who, who won the award for the Winnipeg goalie? Hellebuck. 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 Vesna, yeah. Vesna. Oh. I mean, when you look at their season, it makes sense. Like, okay. He, okay. Yeah. Um, <laughs> all right, the Preds. I want to talk about the Preds because so they got Stamkos, but. They also signed Jonathan Marcheseau and Brady Shea, which is like, they're just stacking up. Trots. That, is that how you say his name? Shea? Shea. How Brady do you Shea. It? How do you spell S-K-J-E-I. It? That's a crazy way to spell Shea. Yeah. Huh. Um, anyway, yeah. So they signed Marcheseau. Five-year deal. 5.5 million. To me, that's a five, steal. I know. Well, what did he have last year? What, like, what did he do last year? He had like five million or something. Five. Oh, like five year by five by five. He had that one forty goal season. Yeah, but he's good. And then... Right, like yeah, I love Marshy. Lots of upside there for sure, and he's not that old like Marshall. So he's what is he thirty three or something like that? Oh, is he? I didn't know he was okay. that old. Yeah, though. I didn't know either. I didn't yeah. know that. He's like he's. I think he might be, or maybe he's the same age as Stamkos. I really? can't. Oh no, no, he can't. No, there's not. A chance. Really? Are you sure? He's thirty three. Oh, he is thirty three. Okay, yeah. so he's only a year younger than Stamkos. So he had a late. He was a late. Yeah, bloomer. he's a late bloomer then. Yeah, he is uh, on the shorter side. I think. Well, he played in Florida for a long time, and it just no one really noticed him. And then when he went to Vegas, that's he right. really that's, took, uh, took yeah. off. You know, that's right. But everyone sees what he can do now, and he's a playoff performer for sure. Yeah. Um, this year they like actually it's funny you say I say that because every year in the playoffs he has kind of a slow start, and then if Vegas like when they went on their run and won. He just got better and better as it went on, and that and he, that's why he won the Con Smythe, you know, mm. like f- Con Smythe winner, five point five mil for five years, like that's not very high risk, oh. and you get a good player for like pretty good salary cap. Yeah, yeah. to like me that. that's an A plus. Like I I love that deal for yeah pr- the Preds. Barry Trotz is cooking, and then Brady Shea. So Marsha Soul is reunited with Stammer. It's also yeah yeah he played a couple years for Tampa, yeah, so he's reunited. Was he in the lineup though when Stamkos was? Oh, playing? Stammer's been there for 15 years. Yeah, I know. I'm just no, but did Marsha so play NHL games in Tampa before he went to Florida? Must have two games. And, okay, and, <laughs> and 45 games this. Oh, season. okay. So I guess I guess he he might have. He was in the mix. Yeah, he was in the practice. He was against uh, T- Stamkos in the practice battle drills. It's also yeah. like Nashville's such a nice place to live. That's got to be like drawing people to Nashville. Oh, for like. sure. Yeah. Um, so yeah, five point five 
for five years for Marshall. So what do you guys grade that? A plus plus. A plus plus. Yeah, I give that an A plus as well. They gave it an A minus. Well, they're wrong. Yeah, well, they're um, wrong. They're, who are these guys? Right? We're the real Anna's over here. Brady Shea got seven years, seven mil. Seven seven baby. Is he a defenseman? Really? Yeah. Well, he's seems like he's probably the he was the top defense do, top dog defenseman available. Yeah. Um, he shoots left, but does he play the right side? I can't remember. Where he played and he was on Carolina. Yeah. Yeah. They uh, Hurricanes lost a few players. Oh, they lost Teravine and Teravine. Yeah. yeah. Um, that one I'm I think that Maybe. it's just a piece of the package that yeah. they need like to. If the Preds want to win now, which it seems like they're trying to do, they needed to get like a top four defenseman that can really play some big minutes, you know? Yeah, uh, they're trying to win now. Because like they can't rely on Yossi for everything. No. And if they can get Brady Shea in the mix, then that's uh that's a, a solid move for me on that one. It almost seems like a Carolina level defense core, like Shea and like they always had good defense on that Carolina. Oh, it's like good team defense. Yeah. Like so I wonder how he'll Yossi do and, and Shea like their staff. But like they're he's going to a team where Barry Trotz is the GM. So you really think that they're not going to have a defensive focus still? You know, like yeah. I think that he's going to uh, blossom to be like a top top two on that team in terms of defensemen. Like right out out of the gate, it won't take him long to be that. Hundred percent. Yeah. Um, moving on to uh, the Kraken got Brandon Montour. I kind of thought the Leafs would be in on Montour until they. Oh uh, no! But, oh yeah, Kraken got him. Yeah, Seattle got Brandon Montour for seven years at just over seven million AAV. Uh, what do you guys think about that deal, Montour to the Kraken? I don't know why he didn't stay in Florida. I just loved it. If I just won a cup, I'd be pissed. I got traded. There, there you go, champion. Take it all. Oh, there you go. Yep. Yeah. Oh, what what made you think to get that, Jer? Because <laughs> Chip has yawned about sixty five times next to me. I'm trying to, you know, get, wake him up. A little smelling salts, smelling salts. Oh. There we go. <laughs> oh. Stay, stay oh, with us here. Stay with us. Smelling Jimmy. salts on the pod at the best podcast in the world. <laughs> I was falling asleep and now I'm awake because we got the smelling salts out. <laughs> Brandon Montour, Seattle Kraken. What do you think? Brandon Montour, are the- one of my favorite defensemen. Um, to the Kraken? Yeah. For how much? Seven mil, seven years. Oh, a little over cheap. seven mil. That's I think it's great. I, I think, think he could have made ten. Incredible. I think Montour should have been made Really? Incredible million. deal. And I think, are they moving to, well, I guess they they were in the playoffs, like. Their first year. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, sometimes it seems like teams are moving a little too soon, like, but, I mean, add defense, add some more players. I guess you got to build up to it, right? Because Montour to Kraken seems like he could have gone to like some stronger teams. To I me, I f- I think that Seattle is in desperate need of someone to quarterback their power play. Yeah. And now that, uh, mm, yeah, <laughs> smelling salts. Now that uh, Florida um, has Forsling. Yeah. Oh. You know to run like th- he definitely showed proved himself to be a, like a top dog in, in Florida. Now that they have him, Montour wasn't getting as much of the power play. I just couldn't time. believe that. Montour was the best defenseman on that team. He, he was really good. Maybe Ekblad. Or well, they all, we got Forsling. Ekman Larson. Oh, oh, oh yeah. yeah. We haven't we haven't got oh, to the Leafs yet. We got to save. all jittery. Let's do. <laughs> he's jittery. He's let's jittery. Do, let's do Leafies next. Um, Montour, that's like an, an A plus deal. Give an a. You give it an A? A plus. A plus. I say A plus. I give. I think it's a good fit for the Kraken because they need someone to quarterback the power play. Yep. Um. They gave him the contract grade a B minus, but the fit a, an A. B minus. Yeah. I guess Why? they. Well, because it's seven it's mil for seven years, and he's not a young guy. Policy. You know. I. I actually don't know. I think he's not. He's not in his like early twenties though. Like it's gonna take him into his like past his prime. So it's one of those deals where if you want him, you gotta sign him for a bit longer. He's twenty eight. Yeah, so he'll be he's in 30, the prime of his career. He'll be thirty five when he's Oh when shoot. Done. What my math is wrong. Thirty. He's thirty. Oh. Okay, so he'll be thirty seven. Yeah. Thirty seven okay. when it's okay. done. So okay. that's, that's why, why. Seattle. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Okay. I'll yeah. I'll downgrade mine from A plus. Uh, Patrick yeah. Kane signed a one year deal with Red Wings extended. That's how much? Cool. Uh two point five or no. Yeah, two point five million salary incentives, four million base salary. That's interesting. I didn't know that. Hmm. It's a decent deal. So he's for making him. like six million. If he hits the incentives, I guess. Yeah, the bonuses mm. uh, for one year. Dude, I would love to play a season. Should we do that for the old paint cans? I'll give you guys incentives. Yeah, <laughs> sign me up. Wait, you already <laughs> tried this? No, but like, um, 
season incentives. Oh, yeah, like, no, that's not a good idea. No? Because <laughs> then I'll just never pass or like. Well, you'll show up to games though. No, you give Chippy assist <laughs> and an, an assist well, incentive. Yeah. It's just a points incentive. A really right? a, a plus 10, minus. 45 at night. I give Chippy uh, a plus minus incentive. <laughs> I'll, I'll do like. if you I get, haven't played hockey in forever. I know. That's, that's what I'm saying. I got to give all the guys incentives. 30 point. Like it's a signing. Uh, or no, no, no signing bonus, but yeah, an incentive like, okay, we're going to give you a 1.5 mil if you get 30 points in the season. Yeah, that's wild. Um, is that good? 1.5 mil, would that, would I'll you show up for every game? I would show up for every game, <laughs> for sure. At least three out of the like, ten. Yeah. Dude, the NHL <laughs> is just producing millionaires. Like, they're just like, oh, we're just going to sign this guy. It's a bad, it's like a low contract for f- like five years, 5.5 million. That's, like, guys I've never heard of are getting 5.5. <laughs> I'm like, what does he do? Who is he? Right, like, there's everyone like if you can imagine if like the influencer space was like that. <laughs> yeah. Like for a year. One that's year. That's a year. That's one oh year. Oh my gosh, can you imagine making that's like That's one year. Even just making two and a half for in a single year. Even just 1.5, even 887. I'll, I'll take league men. League, league men 750, 750 or 775 now probably cuz you know, of the salary cap. You know cap how is. many Chipotle ads I have to do to get to 800,000? Oh, I know. <laughs> that's what I'm saying. Like it would be nice to just I mean, you would have to play 82 games or whatever it is. I like playing hockey. Um, before we move on to the Leafs, because I know we want to talk about the, we those sure moves do. a little bit, I wanted to get your guys' thoughts on the Canucks adding Jake DeBrusque. Oh, that's a big... Yeah, uh, it's a good, yeah. that's a nice pickup for them. Yeah. How much was that, 7 times 7? No, no, that seems to be every deal. No, it was uh, 7 years, but at 5.5. That's oh, bad. yeah. Wasn't he a third It seems liner? like a bit of a haircut from what I thought he was going to get. No, he was like second line in Boston. Yeah. And I then they kind of b- moved him between. That adds a lot of grit to their squad, for sure. Yeah. And I've grown to like Jake DeBrusque, even though, like, he's oh, yeah. a Leaf killer. Mm. Yeah. Um, that's, why, that's why I don't love, love him, but <laughs> yes, we're lo- No, like, he's I think his game is is uh, pretty elite when it comes to, like, the smash smash and grab. Yeah. You know, smash, grab the puck, and score. You know, like, that seems yeah. to be his kind of his M.O. Um, they gave it uh, B- minus on the contract, but a fit of A. Off for the team, yeah, no. yeah, no. interesting. Um, yeah, so yeah, need a little hard hitting hockey over there in Vancouver. They also got Danton Heinen, but I don't know much about him. Uh, I've heard the name, cool name, yeah, cool name. Um, who else? Uh, Maple Leafs. Oh, I like that. OEL. Yep. Ekman Larson, Oliver Ekman Larson. OEL. Then you and Anthony Stolars. Yeah, Stolars. I think he. I think that. Well, I don't even think it's backup. I think they're like one This is going to be a tandem. Yeah, tandem. Okay. Because, well, like they obviously want Joseph Wall to be healthy and to continue to prove himself. Yes. But until he does that, it's pretty much you're looking at it as one A, one B. You know what's wild is that Matt Murray goes on a cup run at like 19, then just signed with the Leafs for league men. Well, also, he kind of fell off a cliff. Well, I know. <laughs> no, but that's what, I know, but, but that's it's what, weird. I, that's what I'm telling you guys. It's yeah. like you could start, you, it's like you get rid of Allmark and you keep Swayman and then Swayman. So here's a here's a fun you fact. Know what I mean? yeah, yeah. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Yeah. Like it's like oh. This will make you guys feel good about the Leafs goalie situation in terms of like money wise. Samsonov moved on. Yep. He's he got signed. Who did he get signed by? I forget. Vegas, I think. Vegas, yeah, Vegas signed him. So he's he's gone. Sammy's gone and no longer. Mm-hmm. Sammy just beat Vassy. You're going to have to change those lyrics from your cut bound no, song. No, it's, um, it's just a moment in time. Moment Stolars in time. and Wall make less than what Samsonov made. Oh, that's nice. Yeah. Which I don't, like, you could say that's nice, but it's like, if you're not paying your, you know what I mean? It's like, you should be paying your goalie. No, but here's the thing. If one because, of them. It's like, obviously, like, you know what I mean? It's like, you could say, oh, it's nice to have some cheap goalies, but like, or you just have one. But imagine a really good. But it's cheap risky. Goalie. But it's risky paying a goalie. Would you it's rather so have a goalie? Risky paying a yeah, goalie. you don't want to pay like you. You want to find two goalies and but it's like, figure it out which like, one's yeah, better. Yeah, it seems like we're just trying to figure it out. Hey, like, Florida like, took the risk with Bobrovsky. Yeah, and they won a cup. Mm-hmm. And cup who, final. Who won, and the then cup, cup. who won the cup before? Vegas. And who was on? Who was Hill? Aiden Hill. Aiden Hill yeah, and he was he was on like a s- small deal. Like he wasn't their main goalie because they got rid of Mark Andre Fleury, who was their main goalie. Yeah. Right, like savagely, they just sent him away. <laughs> so I, that's kind of like with Matt Murray, like Pittsburgh's like, yeah, we're gonna stick with this guy. He's good, and then he just kind of, yeah. You know? So, but usually goalies peak in their like Stolarz, late twenties. Stolarz played for um, Anaheim, yeah, and had a higher save percentage than John Gibson in that's, his time there. That's wonderful because Anaheim, not the greatest defensively. Are we? Are we recording? 
Uh, I'm on here. We are, yeah. Oh, okay, sorry. I was yeah. just looking. At that. Yeah, the audio just passes through there. I, yeah. yeah. Usually, I do record on there. I just forgot to, and I wasn't going to start it halfway through. Um, yeah. So, what did you guys think of uh, OEL though? Oliver Ekman last time. Great. How old? How old's he? Uh, 30, Everyone's thirty. Everyone is thirty. Thirty-one. I don't know. I think and he's. How many years did we get him for? Uh, four years at three point five mil. He's thirty-two. 32, I guess 31. 32, so. I mean, that is old. But it's only a four-year deal. Four-year deal, I think that's great. I, I, I think that it's, they I, need, they need. To, it's just they, nice to have, they didn't need them, because they have a lot of D now. They got, like, what? they just need. A lot of D, what world? No, no, I'm saying, like, they've signed a lot of D, like, they have, like, nine defensemen yeah, signed or something. Tanev oh, too. yeah, they got Tanev, and they also picked up. uh oh, no, like they grabbed a big defenseman, like a six foot seven D from like college hockey. Yeah, Hockenpah, Yanni Hockenpah. Oh, ha- Hockenpah, yeah. D- is he not gonna be able to Hacken play? Hockenclaw. Didn't we sign someone that's like not gonna be able to play? And also, Cade Cade Weber or something. Is he? Yeah, we got. He's Dan- a he's Dan- a young guy. Dan- well, we yeah, that's what I'm saying. Yeah. Dandoff, Dan. Who was the guy we drafted there? Danforth. Oh yeah, Danford. Oh, yeah. Wait, he's a right Ben 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 Danford. I think he's yeah. a right-handed D. Played for yeah, her. but they're gonna develop him. Yeah, like they're not gonna. Drop him into the NHL. They've got too much defense right now. They anyway, might. they're they might maybe. I don't know though. Not this year. I don't think. Maybe maybe so next we year. We signed Liljegren, Liljegren for two years. Yeah, six mil. Yeah. I don't know about that. I really don't know about that. Not a, yeah. a lot of people are kind of uh, skeptical of that. So Leafs got this guy. He's six six foot six. Yeah, Hackenpah. No, this is Cade Weber. Oh, Cade Weber. Yeah. Hackenpah is also, I think, like six seven. Yeah, he's Maybe massive. Like, who's the biggest hockey playing defenseman out there? And we'll just take them from like each corner of the earth. Yeah. Like, the probably... biggest the biggest move that the Leafs have made so far is getting Chris Tanev, because he's oh, okay. he's like a shutdown defenseman. He can play big minutes, and he's his game is built for the playoffs. Right. So like they and he's think about how many the, Steve Dangle's been driving this home. How many? right-handed defensemen that have been as good as Chris Tanev that at least had. Name one. Fair, that's as yeah. good. I don't. How old's Tanev, though? What? Tanev's got to be up there. He's definitely. Yeah, let's, he's. Let's say 33. Everyone's 33. I mean, <laughs> yeah. That's what I'm saying. It's like. Well, it's you know, not one of those things. Little Quinn 34. 34. He's, he's also, also had a lot of injuries. 34. So. Yeah. Like. Oh, like, okay. So let's talk about his deal because he's 34 and they signed him to a six-year deal. I what? think it's I think it's a little sneaky. I think they only it's want him. Cap circumvention. Yes, is what it, it is. is. <laughs> they they if they sign him for three years, they'd have to pay him more per year. So like, say, what did they get get him for six million a year or something? No, I forget. Yeah. No way, it was six million a year. I don't, maybe that's that's, that's too much. No, I think it was like. Let me see. It's not in this article. Ah, uh, bop, 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 bop. Cap friendly is going to be no more soon as well. Why? Is, make it look th- like sorry, so they got him for. Oh no, this is, says three million, but that's 2016. Um, four point five mil. Four point five. Four point five. We'll, we'll just say four point five, but for six years. Yeah. So was that if they wanted him for only four years, they'd have to pay him. We'll the say AAV would come up five point five a year. Yeah. So they just said we'll pay you for six years and. After two or three, we'll just put you on LTIR. They they didn't say that though. No, no, no. This is like you, but you're prone to injuries. Wink, wink, nudge, nudge. Exactly, <laughs> Chris. Chris, we just need a uh, a letter from your doctor. Play here for two years. You get a little letter from your doctor, and you still get paid by us. But it doesn't count against our cap. Sounds good. Eh? Eh? A little wink, wink. Because then he's gonna get paid until he's forty. Yeah. But he only has to play hockey for a couple more years. If he's able to. He'll he play play as long as he can. Yeah. And that's completely how it should be. What's a little bit sneaky is that the Leafs, realistically, they should have been pushing for like a three or four year deal. And instead they're like, yeah, six years, here you go. Yeah. And like there's very little chance, especially with the way that Chris Tanev plays, especially in the playoffs. He's not going to play till 40. That he's going to play till 40. He's he, not going to be Joe Thornton. And he, you know? even if he can, like he's not going to, well, I guess Giordano, <laughs> Giordano played to like what, 42 or something? Like 41, I think. Yeah. yeah. Geo, yeah, Geo. Oh, you slow down. You slow down a little. Geo's yeah. not coming back. I'm, I'm 38. <laughs> I still feel fast. Yeah, you're, you're lightning out there. Interesting. So funny. I looked, Ciao. I looked right into Hayden's eyes for the truth to come out, <laughs> but he butted me up instead. Thanks, Hayden. <laughs> lightning, lightning, lightning. I'm gonna call you McQueen out there. Mm. And then the, the Mitch Marner talks. Yeah, there's not been much no, progress no, made did, on it, that. It didn't. Yeah, he didn't. Tr- tree living based. 
on the moves and signings they have so far, do you think he's staying? Or do you think they they need to move someone out still? Well, I think that if they don't move out a core person, and the obvious one is Marner, it's going to be tough to actually change the forward makeup. Yeah. But I have, a, I have a bit of a, I don't know if it's a hot take or not, but everyone's saying that they need to move off the core four, and I don't necessarily disagree. I think they do. But what was the least problems in the playoffs this year? Lack of compete. Scoring. No, scoring. scoring. Yeah. Top, top. Like two against Boston. Line scoring, yeah. They didn't score. Scoring. Yeah. You know? Yeah. So everyone's saying, like, well, what are they doing now? They're, they're stacking up on defensemen mm. and defensive structure. And, like, so I'm thinking about this and I'm like, why would they, why would they be doing this? Like, they were already pretty solid defensively. They needed to score more. Why aren't they going for more scoring guys? Defense and, leaves the offense. Every coach knows that. Oh, well, yeah. That's the. That's the grassroots answer. But what I think, and I think this is actually quite smart that they're doing, is when you look at the numbers of the top four, like Marner, Matthews, um, Tavares, and Nylander, their defensive metrics in the playoffs went way up. They were way more defensively minded, way more focused on defense, less focused on offense. It, it bothered me watching in, against Boston. I'm like, let these guys score four or five goals a game, please. Yeah, but here's the thing. They didn't have the uh, roster construction oh, for know. all the other guys to compensate for them playing offensive hockey. Yeah. So I think that if they have all these guys that are like locked, like Chris Tanev yeah. and they got Riley, they got McCabe, they got Hawk and Paw, like mucking it up in the corner. Those guys can lock it down yeah. and then let Matthews and Marner cook and it, play it offense. Makes sense. Yeah. You guys play yeah. offense and you guys play defense because yeah. in the playoffs, like, like, Hey, uh, like in the regular season, they don't care. Like yeah. if they get scored on, they're like, we'll just go score again. Yeah. They're not thinking we can't get scored on or we lose this game, yeah. you know, like yeah. let them play. Yeah. And I think that they're going to be better off for it because they're freeing up different roles on the team. It yes. also yeah. is way easier to up your point production when you've got defense that can take the puck off a guy and send it up the ice quickly and put it right on your tape. Yeah. Like that is very – when you're not hemmed into your own zone, mm -hmm. right? Some would argue Lilligren is that guy. Not me, though. <laughs> yeah, I was going to say. DJ Brody gone. Yeah, he's no oh, longer. Yeah. Who did the Leafs lose? They lost Bertuzzi. Yeah. Lost Brody. Lost Samsonov. Uh, apparently, Robertson doesn't. Yeah, he's he lost. requested a I, trade, I but that. they haven't. I yeah. called that. But yeah. they haven't. Which makes them. sense. Like, he wants to play. He wants some ice he's time. He's going to score 40 goals. Yeah. What did I, did I tell you? I, They're I, not going to move him, though. They, I've been saying he's an that. RFA. I've been saying that forever. They're gonna they're gonna sign him like get, like he'll have arbitration rights, which won't be that much, and they're gonna negotiate a contract with him and hopefully get him in the third line again. You know, like mm -hmm. let him actually play. You know, like he's requesting a trade because he's not getting ice time. Yeah. They want to give him ice time. He just needs to stay healthy. Yeah, yeah. You know, he needs to stay healthy, and the Leafs need to not suck. But Robertson could go to like <laughs> uh, the Kraken and be Any a second line player. Any team he goes to, he's gonna be the yeah. first or second liner. It's I'm gonna saying. be a Trevor Moore situation. They're yeah. be like, how do we get rid of this guy? Yeah. Well, because we always do that to our guys that aren't. But anytime he's been given a shot, he then he's he out scores again. Oh no, he's out, but then like he he, does, he can't stay in the lineup because he gets injured. Mm. But yeah, he hasn't gotten a, a great run. He hasn't had a good stretch of like yeah. So we'll stay tuned for the Leafs updates and stuff. Obviously, we're more in tune with that stuff. Domi but... signed. That's nice. Oh, yeah, Domi yeah, did signed. You see his Instagram post. His post oh, was awesome! Inspired. Yeah, he took the Wolf that, of Wall that Street clip. Fired me up. Oh yeah. He's, he's like, I'm not leaving. Yeah, <laughs> and he, and he, th did you notice? Like, it took me a minute. I didn't even realize he, that he face yes, swapped. Yeah, like he used like an AI face swap to put his face on Jordan <laughs> awesome. in the movie. Yeah, awesome. And then, <laughs> it was and so good. And then, and then the the Who song. Yeah, the hype up. Teenage yeah. wasteland. Yeah, <laughs> that would that got me emotional. I really nice. feel like I'm a part. See, that's I, what I'm talking about. I feel like I'm a part of. I'm gonna be a part of this win. I like players like that. Yeah. I, I like. He said, I'm not like leaving. That. He said I'm not leaving. I'm not leaving. He he, he liked my comment too. Nice. Oh, not nice. a big deal. Yeah. Holmes. <laughs> that's beautiful. He said, let's go. I said let's go. All right, let's wrap this episode up so yeah, we can get to the puck daddy show. How long has this episode been? We'll find out after. I will grab another. Smelling salts for the next one. Yeah. Let's go. Let's do it. All right. Thanks a lot for tuning in, everyone. Oh, it's over. We'll see you on Friday. See you on Friday. Gonna change the see world with my hockey stick. Gonna make a real Hour seven minutes. Oh, Feed the poor in here. Oh, back